Hi everyone, my name is Shannon, and today I'm demonstrating um, estradiovalerate injection, hormone replacement therapy. Uh, my quick disclaimer up front, because this is uh, going to be a three-part video, I just can't get it all in uh, these short videos. The procedure showing you everything that it entails. Um, it's all prescribed, so this is nothing illegal. Um, I hope I'm not violating any uh, regulations or whatever. That's not my intention, and I'm not promoting it. So all those factors, uh, self-medicators, all I can tell you girls or guys or whatever, if you're uh, self-medicators, I encourage you to get under supervision. You know, maybe you plan to uh, eventually, but in the long run, you're going to need to be under uh, observation. So just do it and make, make sure life is easier and everything is legal. Okay, so this whole procedure is legal. So anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my injection. I already cleaned my whole work site. This is a glass top table. I put down a sanitary a sheet of paper. I have everything out that I need to prepare my, my uh, syringe for my injection. And uh, I already washed my hands just a moment ago with antibacterial soap. I'm not going to wear gloves. I usually don't. I just don't touch anything after I've washed my hands, um, except everything that I'm using. So to begin with, um, you need your, your 18 your 18 gauge, 3 milliliter, 1 and a half inch lure lock syringe. Um, as you can see, this is a very large needle. <laughs> I think you can see it. I'll try to show it to you. And you don't inject with this. This needle is for drawing up the solution. It would leave a really big hole in you and hurt really badly. <laughs> so you'd probably bleed and plus it would, um, you know, with that big a hole, there's a likelier chance of, uh, of uh, excuse me, infection. So what you need to do is get a cotton swab and clean off the top of your vial, uh, the solution of what you're going to be drawing up for into your syringe from your injection. And you want to sanitize that. Let that dry a moment. I warm it up just a little bit. Um, it's a thick solution, so you just kind of like get it room temperature at least. I keep, I keep mine stored in a nice dark place and a, like a 80 degree temperature or something like that. But um, just rub it between your hands a few times and kind of like warm the solution to room temperature or something. Yeah, make sure I got the top clean here. Now, take your syringe and you draw back your prescribed dosage. Again, with a um, 18 gauge, one and a half inch needle is what came on the influer lock. You stick it in, in there and you just uh, put all the air back into the vial. And you drop, or you get, you get, make sure the needle point is down in the solution so you're not drawing air back up again. And you draw back and fill your syringe to your dosage. When you go past your dosage, this is for air to uh, keep the air bubbles out. You put more in your syringe than you need, and then you just push back into your vial up to your dosage. A couple air bubbles in there. You want to try to keep all the air bubbles out. Okay, so that's my dosage. Um, it doesn't matter, but I'm, I'm not going to give it out over the internet. Hopefully, it's going to change here in uh, 
in the next couple of weeks I see my doctor again and I don't think I'm getting enough, but I'll let him make that, uh, that determination. So anyway, that's what you do is you draw that up, you put the cap back on the needle and remove this needle because you are not going to use this needle for an injection. At this point, you want to install the 21 gauge, and mine's a 21 gauge one inch needle. Some of the, some of the people use a one and a half inch needle. Just depends on how much fat you have to penetrate. And I don't have any, <laughs> so I have a small, uh, small little booty. <laughs> so there we go. This is all ready for injection. Now, what I'm going to do is end this video, and um, in the next video I will actually do the procedure. And what we're going to do in this next video is I will drop my shorts here and try to expose as little of my um, one side of my ass as possible. Because I, I inject in my upper outer glute, and some people inject in their leg. But um, I do it in my butt eye. So I switch sides. Every two weeks I take my injection. One week I do it in one side, and the other week I do it in the next for scarring and just, I don't know, um, the rotation. No big deal. It's kind of hard to do on your own because it's awkward. You have to, like, be able to turn, and you have to, once you've, in, once you've stabbed yourself with the penetrated the injection site, you have to pull back to make sure you're not in a blood vessel or anything and make sure there's no blood before you can inject the solution. So it's all kind of tricky to get to the right spot and do that by yourself. If you have somebody to help assist you with your injection, um, good for you. <laughs> you know, people will help me, but they're just not around. So um, my sisters and my son won't do it. He, I asked him, and he's not interested. <laughs> Anyway, he doesn't like getting shots anyhow, <laughs> um, but it's not for him. This is prepared. All I have to do now is clean the injection site with an alcohol swab or a cotton swab and um, inject my, my dosage for this two-week period. So I'll be right back. Bye.